Welcome, in front of me is Acer Nitro 5 and in this video I will show you how to install Windows from USB on this laptop. So, in order to do this, you're gonna need a USB flash drive with at least 8GB of memory, of storage. And if you don't have the operational system on this laptop, you're also gonna need a separate device with internet connection, a separate PC, I mean. So, uh, in order to begin the installation, let me first switch to this another device and show you how to prepare your USB flash drive for Windows installation. So, insert the flash drive into the uh, PC, then look for the Windows 11 download in your browser using any search engine. Okay, then find the official Microsoft.com website that says download Windows 11, scroll down this list, then select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO for x64 devices, click confirm and wait until your, device, uh, your request is validated. Then choose the product language and confirm once again. And after your request is validated, click download and wait until the ISO file is downloaded. We're gonna need to create a bootable USB flash drive out of your flash drive. So click 64-bit download and then while the file is, is being downloaded, let's also download the Rufus. So open a separate tab and search for the Rufus program, then open the Ruff official Rufus.ie website on this website go to downloads section and uh, here try downloading this version of the application so the latest one and in case it doesn't run on your pc when you open it you can download the x86 version and it will surely run on your pc now in device section select your usb flash drive that is connected to this laptop that is to this pc and now uh, very important notice if you have any files on your USB flash drive back them up somewhere maybe on this device maybe somewhere else because your uh, USB flash drive will be formatted during this process and since the file is still being downloaded uh, we have to download one more thing well uh, I encountered some trouble when I first tried to install Windows on this PC and I saw many people on the internet that uh, encountered the same kind of uh, problem uh, which is uh, the SSD not being detected during the, during the installation so you cannot uh, basically select SSD so your the storage on your laptop to install Windows on it and to fix it you're gonna need to download the R R RTS uh, driver, a specific version for your laptop. And in order to do this, what you're gonna need is open a new tab where you'll have to open the web browser and search for Acer drivers. Now find the official Acer.com website that says download Acer support drivers and manuals, open it, and here you'll have to enter either your device's serial number or SNID. No, but before we do that, I saw that my ISO file was actually downloaded. So what we have to do now is, so once your ISO file is downloaded, you have to click select, then select the ISO file that you downloaded, click open. Now, don't change anything here, just click start. Now, don't hit any checkboxes here too, because you're not gonna need, it, need to any of these features. Click, just click OK. And then wait until the status bar says ready. Well, for me it already says ready, but... Uh, uh -huh, okay, click OK 
and then wait until the status bar says ready. It's gonna happen in a while, well, depending on your fl USB flash drive speed, uh, data transfer speed. Okay, now let's return to this driver uh, website. So, in order to find this uh, serial number or SNID, you're gonna have to look uh, beneath your laptop on the back cover of it. So let me show you the exact location of your serial number and SNID on your Acer laptop. So, if you take a closer look at your device's back cover, you'll find that here is a uh, serial number and here is SNID. I recommend using SNID simply because it's shorter and easier to use and uh, you probably won't any mistake uh, trying to enter it on this uh, driver's website. So enter one of these two numbers on this website. And press enter. And you'll get transferred to the product support page. And here you'll, you'll have to find this IRST driver. Download it. And you'll download the zip file. Now what you have to do is check if your USB flash drive is ready. And since it's not for me, uh, well, let's wait a while, but uh, generally speaking, let's actually open the location of this file. And now what you have to do is right click this file and then select open with Windows Explorer. Then, uh, okay, let's do it the other way. Uh, first, right click, then rename. Cop Ctrl C, copy this name, then right click, new folder, Ctrl V, now right click on this file, open with Windows Explorer, right uh, select these files, right click, select copy, Then go back to the downloads folder, open the folder that you created, right click and paste. Okay. Okay, now let's look at the Rufus. Okay, it's gonna be ready in a while. I'm gonna return to, the, to you then. Okay, and once the status bar says ready, you can close this program. You can delete it if you want. Then, uh, Let's grab this file using right click copy. Let, let's go to the USB flash drive. It should look like this. Right click, paste. Okay, right now you can e safely eject the flash drive and then let's get back to the laptop. So insert the very same USB flash drive into your laptop. Press the power button once and then Start repeatedly pressing F12 until you see the boot menu on your screen. And once you see it, using down arrow key, select USB HDD or basically your uh, USB file or USB flash drive and press enter to confirm and wait until the installation screen is uh, shown on your display. And when you see it, unfortunately, you cannot use your touchpad. So here comes the hard part. If you can connect an external mouse to this laptop, because unfortunately, the touchpad doesn't work. But if you don't have a, an external mouse, don't, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to go through the setup process using only the keyboard. Uh, so what you have to do first is well, give me a moment. Press tab, you will select time and currency format and you can actually change it by using down and up arrow keys. Once you're down, press tab, tab, 
once again until you hit the next button. Then press enter. Then you can change the keyboard or input method using down and up key, uh, arrow keys. And once you're ready, press enter, then press tab, press spacebar to, to agree that everything will be deleted, including your files, apps and settings, and press tab uh, a couple more times until you hit next button and press enter. Then if you have to enter the product key, you don't have to do it now, well you can, but you don't have to do it, it will be uh, provided automatically if your device had the Windows copy, so don't worry, you can simply press tab, select I don't have a product key, and press enter, then select the Windows version. Uh, operation system operating system version you can navigate between the versions using down and up arrow keys I'm gonna select home by pressing enter then press tab several times you can uh, of course uh, read the you you have to read their user agreement first to navigate through it use your down arrow key then press tab several times until you hit the accept button and press enter. Okay, and now searching for disk disks is coming. And as you can see, unfortunately, the disk disks weren't uh, identified. So we'll have to use the driver to do that. Right, uh, use tab several times until you hit the load driver uh, option right here press enter to confirm, then press enter to start browsing, and then using down arrow key, navigate to your USB flash drive, and use right arrow key to expand this list, then using down arrow key, select your drivers folder, press enter, and then press tab once, then using down arrow key, select the first driver, press enter, if it, it doesn't want to install, install the next with the following one, Okay, now let's wait and see what happens. And as you can see, disks appeared on the screen. Now what you have to do is uh, delete all of these four partitions. To do that, uh, you can navigate between them, of course, using down and up arrow keys. Once you select a partition, once you have it selected, press Alt D, combination of keys, so Alt and D buttons at the same time. And this way it will be deleted. And do this to each of these four partitions. Okay. And once you repeat this process for all of these partitions, you will be left with uh, 476.9 uh, gigabytes of unallocated space. Uh, and if you want to install the Windows on this. Uh, uh, on this uh, unallocated space you can press enter and this way you will only have the C disk on your computer uh, which is uh, generally uh, well it's possible to make a separate disk out of it but it's pretty dangerous and it's very complicated so if you want to have a, a separate disk like disk D for your files then you have to do it now and to do it you have to press tab several times until you have this create partition option selected, press enter and tap once again. Now you, you have to provide the size of the disk in megabytes, but I uh, recommend you uh, first uh, creating a C, uh, the C disk, uh, the system disk, and the recommended uh, size for the system disk is 100 to 150 gigabytes in order for your system to work properly. So let's create a 150,000 megabytes partition because we have to provide size in megabytes as you can see right here. Uh, and click apply. Now uh, click enter basically. And this way... Oh, okay. Uh, not enter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm missing... <laughs> it was a misinformation. Uh, so just use the uh, tap button until you hit the uh, 
until you hit the back uh, option and uh, then press enter if you got into this uh, situation okay so uh, let me remove all this partition and I'll get back to you so once again instead of pressing enter press tab to select apply option and then press enter and this way you will create a separate partition on your device let's wait okay and now we have this partition 3 146 gigabytes of size and that's pretty that's enough for a system disk now let's remember that this is a system disk and now using this the rest of unallocated space press tab again several times until you hit the create partition press enter then press tab once again and well if you have to want to have two disks you can provide the value that you need for one of that uh, if you I mean if you want two more disks then you can uh, basically provide the value that is less than this number uh, into this field and click apply and uh, then uh, you'll create the uh, disk the driver with uh, this amount of storage but I'm gonna only have one disk on my uh, on one more disk so I'm just uh, gonna press I'm gonna go with this value press tab and then press enter to apply and this will be my D disk let's wait okay so now using down and up arrow key go to your system disk which in my case is partition 3 press enter and then and okay and then tab several times until you have the install option selected and press enter and then wait until windows is installed now make sure that your device is uh, plugged into the power source because if your device isn't being powered and uh, it uh, accidentally dis discharges th during this process uh, it may as well break and uh, i'm sure that's that this is not what you want for it now uh, i also know that uh, the touchpad w probably won't work for you even after you complete the setup well, if you want to know how to complete the setup, you can check the video on our channel if you like. Uh, but uh, I know uh, that uh, the, the touchpad won't work even after you uh, finish the setup. And uh, I'm going to tell you how to fix this issue. Basically, all you have to do is update your Windows. After you update your Windows, uh, your touchpad uh, will start working after the first update. So don't worry about it. And uh, now we only have to wait. So let's wait until Windows is installed. And at this point the installation is complete, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, consider subscribing to our channel, leave us a like in the comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.